Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, a researcher is trying to determine the doubling time for a population of the bacterium Giardia lamblia. He starts a culture and a nutrient solution and estimates the bacteria count every four hours. His data are shown in the table. So first, in part A, we're asked to make a scatter plot of the data. So we just have to graph all of these points. So on the x-axis, we're going from 0 to 24. And on the y-axis, we're going from 37 to 173. So that's going to look something like this. Going from 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And on the y-axis, let's go up to 200. And now we just have to fill in our points. We're at 0, 37. 4, 47. 8, 63, 12, 78, 16, 105, 20, 130, and 24, 173. And these are just rough um, points, but we can see the exponential relationship. Next, we're asked to use a graphing calculator to find an exponential curve, f of t, which is equal to a times b to the t, which models the bacteria t hours later. So what you do is on a graphing calculator, or I have it on a website that provides the same exponential regression, you plug in all of your points, and then you find the exponential regression equation of that. And I'm about to pull that up, but for this we have, the result is y is equal to 36.893 times 1.0661 to the x. And that is what you're um, calculator spits out, and you have to turn that into f of t is equal to 36.893 times 1.0661 to the t. Okay, so just to get you an uh, idea of what we're looking at with this thing here, we can see in the regression calculator that we have here, we've plugged in the points, and now we get to output this equation follows the points almost exactly, right? You see it um, underestimates some of them, overestimates some of them, but overall it's very, very close. We give it our equation, and we have the correlation, which we see is very, very high here. It's on a scale of zero to one, and we can see it's very, very close to one. So that's good. And we're asked for a graph on the calculator. This is the equivalent of that um, in part B. Or sorry, that was part B, the graph is part C. We're also asked to use the trace function. Um, I don't have a trace function on that particular calculator, so I'm gonna do, I think, the more helpful way. So when t is equal to zero, this is equal to 36.893 times 1.0661 to the zero. Anything to the zero is just one, so this is just 36.893 to the one. So when 36.89, when f, um, when t is zero, f of t is 36.893. So if we plug in 36.893 times 2, which we have here is 77, or sorry, 73.786. If this is equal to 36.893 times 1.0661 to the t, this t is the time at which, for this particular function, f of t equals 73.786, which we know is double time equals zero, so this is also serving as the elapsed time. So if we divide by 36.893, that actually simplifies this equation a lot because this cancels and this is just equal to two. Now we have this equation. So we can say using the logarithmic um, relationship, log base 1.0661 of 2 is equal to t. Therefore, the log of 2 divided by the log of 1.0661 is equal to t, converting them into both base 10 by dividing the two parts of the similar log. And then you just plug this into your calculator, and you get 10.89829. So it takes 10.829 seconds, sorry, hours, 
excuse me, for the bacteria count to double. Based off of this equation, which we found by doing an exponential regression on these points.